Good day, ladies and gentlemen. Joy Steven from the Pollens Studios, and here is a student herald case law, Ibrahim versus Canada. Case laws are not meant for people interested to apply for permanent residence to Canada, but may be used by those who feel the system may not be fair or to gain an understanding of the recourse available in case there is a negative decision. Content for this video is sourced from information distributed by Thomson Reuters. Judgment for this case is attached in my blog, reportersreport.com as a PDF document. This is an immigration case law and includes topics like exclusion and expulsion, deportation. Applicant was citizen of Somalia. He came to Canada in March 2000 as a member of the family class. He became involved in criminal activity leading to criminal charges beginning in July of 2000 and to convictions. Beginning October 2000, initially as young offender, applicant was issued deportation order on April 2nd of 2007. Following application for pre-removal risk assessment PRRA applicant was found to be at risk if returned to Somalia decision was made to uh, by delegate of minister of citizenship and immigration finding applicant to be danger to public that decision rendered applicant open to removal to Somalia applicant applied for judicial review of decision application followed applicant had obtained protection in canada pursuant to s113 of the immigration and refugee protection act of canada when positive decision was made upon his prra application that status was subject to being vacated when minister asked for danger opinion delegate breached duty of procedural fairness due to applicant in determination of request for danger opinion. Applicants right to fair process could not be trampled by administrative inefficiency. Ibrahim versus Canada, it's dated 31st of August 2015 from the Federal Court. Thank you.